Wow, it's always an honor to have the privilege to and have access into your homes, your offices, wherever you are watching and listening to us. Today I want to, by the grace of God, share with you on the subject I titled Unlocking or Steps to Help You Unlock Your Self-Confidence. Because sometimes in life, you may have failed, you may have had challenges. Certain situations or circumstances may not have been favorable to you, and that must have affected you over time. And your self-confidence seems to have diminished. But I've come under the authority and the power of the Holy Ghost to unveil God's word to you, to help you regain and gain back your self-confidence. The Lord bless you as we go into this wonderful time perusing through his word and sharing from our heart what will help you become better. The Lord bless you as your self-confidence sky higher and higher. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Jesus is Lord, like we have always said. Um, today, I'm on the subject of steps that can help you unlock your self-confidence. I'm Reverend Frama Shadrach Dilimunu, the bishop and leading pastor of the Place of Grace. I want you to follow with me, and we trust that God Almighty will help us have a, a grasp of the truth and the reality of his word to us in this season. Now, one thing I want to quickly point out, reading from James chapter 1 and verse number 17, it says, every gift or every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of light with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Now, one of the things you must understand very quickly when it comes to having self-confidence is the fact that God wants good things to happen for you. I need to say that again. God wants good things to happen for you. Whoever you are, whatever you do, God wants good things to happen for you. I need to emphasize on that truth because unconsciously we have allowed ourselves to believe that there are certain persons or group of people that God has ordained that good things should happen for them. So you do not have the self-confidence to take the steps that are required to bring you into the place of blessings and honor and majesty. Remember, God is not a respecter of person. Whosoever, wherever the person is, that calls upon the name of the Lord, that will God honor. That person will the Lord God Almighty honor. So God wants good things to happen for you. Now, I want you to repeat that with so much belief that good things are supposed to happen for me. God wants good things to happen for me. Now, if you have that belief that God wants good things to happen for you, you will always have your self-confidence high up, your expectation for good things happening to you 